Carl here, KE0JWK. Um, this uh, next uh, series of videos is going to be on inserting a coil into a wire. And uh, before we start with the 4NEC2, we have to figure out what we need for uh, coil specifications. Um, I like using some of the free online calculators. And uh, in the case of what you see on the screen, Coil32 is also available for download. Um, it happens to be my favorite coil design program, um, and it's uh, available in a couple different uh, forms. Um, I will post links to this, uh, everything I'm going to mention here in the comments uh, or in the description below the video, so make sure you look at that if you uh, need to find them. Uh, coil 32, um, if you're using... Uh, any version of Windows, I believe, from XP on up is uh, will work, uh, but uh, from uh, Windows 7 on up, uh, they also have Coil 64 available. You can use either one of them depending on your version. Like I said, I'm running Windows 10, but still using Coil 32, and it works just fine. So um, <clears throat> it's also available for Mac, uh, Linux. Uh, there's an Android version for your phone or tablet. Um, the, all the uh, source codes available on on the website. Um, you know, just about uh, uh, anything you you need to do with the program is going to be available there. If you like this program as much as I do, please be sure to donate uh, to the authors. Um, it's they keep it updated and uh, uh, keep adding uh, more things to it. Uh, as time goes on, um, so it uh, continues to run smoothly with uh, whatever operating system you're using. So anyway, uh, the other thing here, um, be sure to check out the other tabs. There's a lot of uh, good information uh, that uh, will help you understand a little more about uh, inductors. The uh, um, I'm uh, I'm learning <clears throat> a lot uh, all the time. So you know, whenever I run across something that I don't understand. Uh, Man, there's so much available online uh, information online. Um, you, you have to do a lot of reading sometimes, but that's just the way it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, to get started uh, on our inductor, um, or for an antenna, let's say let's just uh, say for a vertical antenna, um, 66pacific.com uh, has some great uh, um, online calculators. Uh, we're looking at a coil shirt and vertical antenna calculator here um, you need uh, the total height that you want to build so you're going to have to get your paper and pencil out and figure out physically uh, what kind of antenna you want to build um, and uh, you need to know the, the height you want to place that coil so we're going to use these numbers that I've already got in here uh, I'm, I'm going to design this vertical antenna for to be total of 30 feet tall I'm going to place the coil 20 feet from the bottom, approximately. Um, I'm going to design it with 12-gauge uh, copper wire, so uh, the diameter is 0 .0808. And uh, there's also um, available online, uh, just do a quick search for uh, a wire diameter, and you can find a calculator that'll... Uh, give you whatever gauge wire you want. I've got a couple. I don't have anything uh, brought up here, but a couple of my favorites. Uh, uh, but quick search will find you something. They'll all give you the same result. And we're going to design it for uh, 3.9 megahertz. You can click the calculate button and it will give you your results right here. In this case, we need 55.2 micro -henries. Okay, so the next thing, uh, when, we're, when we get back into 4NEC, um, <clears throat> for any C wants this information in Henry's, not micro Henry's. So, uh, you know, you can do the math yourself or just add the zeros in yourself. Uh, um, I always have to look to make sure I'm adding the right amount of uh, zeros in front of that number. But um, there's online converters available, and I'll throw these links down there too. There's, uh, there's one for capacitance. Here's one for micro Henry to Henry. Um, put the 55.2, click the convert button, and it gives you the number. You, this is the number that you will need to put into 4NEC2 when we get there. Um, <clears throat> a couple others that I also use, uh, you know, the 
depending on my mood. This is usually the one I, I like. Here's another one I ran across, uh, and it's kind of neat. Um, it uh, As a result, it gives you a full chart for, for all the different conversion numbers that you might need. Um, but anyway, I'll throw all these uh, links down in the description, and you can uh, go with whatever you like. Uh, so, and we're back to the 30, uh, coil 32 there. <clears throat> Bring up coil 32 uh, after you uh, download it or using the online version, either one. You'll start out with, uh, first thing you want to do, you want to clear all the information. So you go over to the file tab, use the drop down, null all the initial data. Um, we are going to start on this coil tab put the kind of wire that we're using. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do it with copper. Um, I'm doing this for simplicity for what you guys are most likely to build an antenna out. My vertical, uh, I got an 80 vertical sitting out, I shouldn't say sitting, hanging out in the tree. Um, I've got a, a tall pine tree and it's uh, it's actually hanging in the air as opposed to I know most people use rigid material and uh, and will mount theirs in some some fashion off the ground or above the ground um, but there's no reason you can't hang a vertical antenna uh, works very well for me I built that antenna specifically because I wanted to uh, um, get some Australian contacts and uh, uh, lo and behold um, it worked well for me but uh, anyway uh, and, oh, in my case also I'm doing this with number 12 wire uh, mine's actually built out of uh, uh, four out uh, aluminum s uh, electrical service cable and uh, the coil is also I think the coil might be uh, uh, might just be number four but anyway um, that's besides the point uh, but I'm, I'm trying to make this with material most people would have easily available I happen to have that service cable so we're gonna put it on the type of material uh, we're going to click over to LC circuit. Um, we're going to make our choice here. We're gonna, we already know the inductance and the frequency that we're going to be using, so we're going to click on that. We're going to put in uh, the 55.2. Let's see. I don't know if I, if I copied that or not, so I'm typing in. Um, we're designing for 3.9 megahertz. We're going to click on that tab right there. It's going to give us our initial result. We can go back to the coil tab. Uh, go down the, the menu on the left hand side and put in the type of coil that we're making. It's a one layer coil with and with a winding pitch. The winding pitch, I already know I want about a quarter inch center to center on each of these wires is going to be our pitch. So um, diameter of the former, oops, let's, uh, let's go over here to customize because it has us in metric. I don't want to do it in millimeters, I'm going to do it SAE. So uh, click options, uh, change this to inches. But uh, if you're a metric guy, you can do it in whatever form or fashion you want. I don't care. It's the same procedure. Um, just the measurements are different. Uh, I'm going to do it as a two and a half inch coil. Uh, that's that inside to measurement. That's the size of the form. Uh, the wire diameter we know is 0.0808. Um, and when you get ready to do uh, move over to 4 NEC2, remember 4 NEC2 wants the radius, not the diameter. So you'll cut that number in half and uh, click down here. It'll fill that in for you. Uh, winding pitch is 0.25, quarter inch uh, pitch on it. Click calculate and look at all the, all the neat information it gives us about that coil. Same thing on the inductance tab. We're going to hit that one. Um, fill in that 2.5 for the former and everything else is already filled in for us it tells us the number of turns right there if we want we could change that and uh, it would adjust the rest of the numbers we're still on copper wire click calculate and it gives us a little more information a lot of this information is repeated from each of these so the first one we did scroll down is at the bottom it's number one uh, number two is uh, with the coil portion and go back on the inductance tab is at the top it's number three uh, you can do them in any order it doesn't really matter I just find that's the most convenient uh, for me I don't have to go back and forth making sure I didn't miss redesign that coil totally 
and but keep these on the screen just don't clear it and uh, it'll continue to whatever you want to change if I, I can go over here and change the number in the in here and uh, recalculate it again and it'll come up as number four and then I can scroll back and forth comparing the results all right that's it for this one um, next video we'll uh, move back into the 4NEC2 program and show you how to put this coil that we just designed into um, a vertical antenna well, we'll build the vertical antenna to match the coil um, <clears throat> and it doesn't matter if it's a vertical antenna it doesn't matter if it's a dipole or whatever the way you insert uh, a coil into uh, your wire is what uh, the purpose of this set of videos is going to be of um, I don't even care what the result of the antenna is because we can always tweak it later and we may just do it we might just take this antenna all the way to the end uh, thanks for watching um, have a great day it's monday morning here near st louis missouri and i've got to go to work uh, ke0 jwk see you later